What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sun City Outdoors and we're driving right now to Arizona, Lake Pleasant, Arizona. I'm here with Senior, my dad. Uh, we're meeting up with Chris Flores and his daughter Issa from Muddy River Catfishing, doing a subscriber meet and greet, towing the boat, so it's gonna be a fun trip. Stay tuned. So we're almost here at Lake Pleasant and we realized that we don't we don't have a fishing license for Arizona and we're driving through Wickenburg and it's still kind of early so none of the shops have really opened yet. And we decided to stop at a, a gun store uh, named Gun Trader. Gun Trader and I think the gentleman's name was Bob. He didn't open till 9 o'clock. And we rolled up probably about 7.45 and knocked on the door because we saw him in there and asked him if he'd sell us a fishing license and he actually opened early to let us in so we really appreciate that if you guys are ever going through Wickenburg go ahead and check out that store and to the state of Arizona really $175 for a hunting and fishing license combo how do you guys sleep at night that, that's crazy I gotta get a job now or something alright here's the boat ramp we're rolling up Lake Pleasant right here I was about to sit down too. Look at that thing. What kind of bugs you guys got out here in Arizona? You can see through it. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Why do we feel like we know you and we've never met? <laughs> All right. Good to meet you, man. Meet How you doing? What's up? Hello. How are you? There's Issa. Sorry, Hi. Hi. This is Fran. Hello, and that's <laughs> Alex, right? And that's Alex. Hello. Come say hi, Alex. What's that? Yeah. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> They're always strict on life jackets. <laughs> All right, we're going to pick up my uncle. My uncle's gonna come on the boat with us today, just to hang out. The game plan for today is just to catch some bluegill. We're going to throw them on some big hooks made by hook setters and hopefully catch some flatheads with them. First catch of the day. Nice one. All right. <laughs> so I've been out here about 30 minutes. Uh, I lost the fish earlier on the jig. But we're still just trying to figure out this lake. First time being here in about 10 years. So we're gonna go ahead and see if there's striped bass in this lake, catfish, this species of panfish, and bass. So we should be able to catch something. Chris just caught the first fish of the trip. All right, broke the ice, guys. <laughs> Bluegill. It counts, right? Nice little guy. These things are magical. You put them on a hook and then throw it in the water, they turn into flatheads. From where I come from, anyways. <laughs> it's true. Hey guys, I just got my face. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> that little blue girl was pulling a drag. He's over there. He was a big bass. He's going that way. Two big ones. Two pound bass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little piece of worm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, it is a bass. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, got him. First fish of the day for me. Nice. And that's the secret lure. Hide it, hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Those little two that were over there early. Yeah, probably. Uh, he's probably half a pound, pound maybe. Nice bass. First bass of the day. Yep. First one. First of many. 
Good job, man. <laughs> Got another bluegill. All right, this one's a sunfish. Nice one. How, they always bite right when I turn off the GoPro. <laughs> So they decided to take a lunch slash swim break, but you guys know I came here to fish. Why are you fishing out here? There ain't no fish out here. <laughs> oh, what the? <laughs> it's a nice one. All right, I gotta get something to get that hook out. Dang, he swallowed it. I, I just dropped it in there and he picked it up right when it fell to the bottom. Well, hopefully he'll live. All right, so we've been out here. We caught a bunch of bluegill. The plan was to catch some bluegill, throw them on one of the hook setter hooks, and drop them by the dam. See if there's any big catfish out here. See if the rumors are true. What do you think? We're gonna get something? Hope so, man. I'm dropping down in 80 to 90 feet of water. Yeah, it was about 20 foot of line. <laughs> <laughs> And I've got this bead right here. This slides up and hits the bobber stop. And then this is a sinker slide that attaches the bobber. And that bobber has those two holes. You can put a glow stick in there, fish at night. And this is a three ounce lead to my swivel and then to my bait. So when this thing hits the water and then the lead, the, the lead sinks down, See that bobber stop going through the line? Mm -hmm. And it hits and then that's where he's at. He's at that's the depth he'll be at. Wow, so cool. if I want to fish deeper, I just take this thing, slide it up. Oh wow. Or slide it back down however I want. And then that'll be the depth I'm fishing this bait at. You got one? Good song. Dang, it's heavy. <laughs> You oh, got I tagged him. him. Oh, you sniped him. <laughs> We're gonna call it a day. It's been hot out here. All right, so day one's over. Uh, we didn't catch a lot of fish, but still had a great time. It was cool to meet uh, Chris and his daughter Issa from Muddy River Catfishing. So tomorrow's the meet and greet. We are out here day two. Start of the meet and greet. Launching the boat, we're gonna go to the picnic area. Where'd you get those from? Walmart. Brand new sandals from Walmart. It's so hot out here, he just burned through the front of them. Yeah, wow. So we're out here. We got a bunch of food out here. Uh, for anybody that shows up, chips, sodas. It's way down in our boat down there. You having fun out here? How long have you been watching Sin City Outdoors? Plenty of food. We're out here hanging out. If you guys remember Faith, we took her on a striper trip. She caught a bunch of stripers out there at Lake Mead. Excellent fisherman. Here's Isa, the catfishing queen. And um, we're out here having a good time. Beautiful day. A little hot, 104, 105 degrees. And then uh, we have, of course, Chris out here. We're going to try to catch a fish, guys. Go get one. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> this is what's left of these Walmart swimming shoes after 30 minutes of use. There's a yeah, he wore them for five minutes. They started falling apart, and then it took him 15 minutes to take them off. That's how bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's they started horrible. melting. They were melted to his foot. It's 105 <laughs> degrees out here. We're out here at the picnic. People are just starting to show up. What, what about your hunting? What, what do you guys hunt for? 
anything we can get outside for. Rabbits, deer, elk, just about everything. Nice. Small game, big game, all of it. And you guys also do uh, cooking and... Yeah, catch and cook. Catch and cook, huh? Those do pretty good. I like doing them, those videos. They're fun. You guys have asked me for some catch and cook videos, but if you guys want to see some that are already up, you guys check out Sin City Outdoors. He's got a lot of good videos. Uh, right now, we're going to go mix and mingle, go mess around in the water a little bit, maybe fish a little bit. Um, but we'll get back to you guys. So thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for inviting me. All right. So let's go see what else is going on, guys. Out here just hanging out. Everyone's eating lunch right now. Having a great time so far. Oh, awesome, man. That's so cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hey, yeah, I'll put these on my boat. That perfect little spot in front. Gotta be me to put some. You guys caught one already? Yeah. How big was he? Oh, nice. What kind was it? Bluegill? Bluegill. All right, let's go get some more. Dang it, someone stole our boat. Sit right there. Oh, he got one. Oh, he caught a bra. What? That's how you know when you get hot. You were swimming in his pants. You gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so we're packing everything up. We had a cool turnout, probably about two dozen people came and they were just saying hi. We ate, did a little bit of fishing. I heard a kid caught about a one pound bluegill down there too. So that's pretty cool. We're just gonna walk around and say goodbye to everybody. But we had a good time overall. Alright, let's do a little outro video. You want to? Yeah. Alright. You get the camera. Alright guys, we're wrapping up today. We had a great time. This is my first subscriber meet and greet out here at Lake Pleasant. I rode Muddy River catfishing. Uh, if you guys want to tell them something. Yeah, thanks for having us out. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Had a good time. We watched their videos. They got some really good videos. And uh, we just had a good time hanging out with everybody over here. Had some food going on and some swimming and a little bit of fishing. Not much catching, but still, all in all, great time. And thanks to everybody who came out and showed their support. and. We look forward to doing it again sometime, maybe uh, in Lake Mead or something you were saying. Yeah. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out his channel. Uh, his family, he's a family-oriented channel, catches a bunch of big fish. And Muddy River Catfishing, awesome dude. And also, stay tuned guys, because I got a mule deer tag and an elk tag coming soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors.